So students, now we continue with the topic of standardization that we stopped in the last lecture. We also know that this is known as root mean square. Okay? And we have denoted this by sigma. And we have seen the parallels for this as 1 upon n sigma xi minus x bar whole square whole raised to 1 half. That is square root of the mean of the squares. But we have also seen the same formula for in the simplified form that means sometimes x bar becomes a non-integer value then it takes time to find out the values x i minus x bar and their squares like this so instead of this we can to do the manual calculation this formula will become very much useful again we have seen the same kind of formula for the deviations that means in this way 1 upon n, x bar is actually, what is x bar? x bar is 1 upon n sigma xi that we have already seen. So 1 upon n sigma di whole square whole raised to 1 half. So this is the formula for ungrouped data. Okay? And di is what? di is xi minus a. a is the assumed value. We already know this from the Topic of arithmetic mean. Then we have seen the same formula for, for group data that is for first uh, simple frequency distribution. And I told you that uh, to remember this formula, simply we have to multiply this by fi. Wherever is x involved, we will multiply this by fi. So this is the formula. Again, uh, like this, the simplified formula for this one is fi xi square minus x bar square whole raised to one half. Here, not uh, small n, we are using capital N because capital N equal to sigma fi, that is the total of frequencies. Again, like this, we have written the formula in the form of fi di square minus 1 upon capital N minus 1 upon capital N sigma fi di whole square because di is connected with xi and that's why we have uh, we are multiplying this by fi so whole raised to 1 half and for group frequency distribution if we, we can also use this for group frequency distribution because xi values we can consider as mid values of the intervals but if we don't want to consider the mid values and directly the intervals then we are multiplying this by h this same formula and sigma fi di dash square here sigma fi fi di dash whole square whole raised to one half where di dash we were considering as xi minus a upon h h is the length of the interval so these are the formulas to remember and mostly we will use these formulas of di because here manual calculations uh, we can use for our fast process so now you can see that these values are known as root mean square values but uh, uh, we will uh, during find out standard deviation sigma normally we will find out sigma square because uh, to avoid to write down whole rest to one half each time sigma square we will find out and then we will find out sigma by taking its square root okay are you clear with this so we can find out standard deviation by using the for appropriate formulas okay now let us see about variance. Variance. Variance is nothing but variance is nothing but the square of 
standard deviation. That means sigma square is known as variance. Okay? Square of this one. Okay? Then, coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is obtained as sigma upon x bar into 100. That means we will obtain this into percentage form. And coefficient of variation is useful to us to compare the two data. That means uh, if we are comparing the two data, then we need to find out coefficient of variation for both of these things. And uh, sometimes we also denote this by COV, coefficient of variation. Okay? So the, uh, the coefficient of variation, if it is, uh, we compare uh, for the both data, and the less value of coefficient of variation tells us that this data is more better than the another data. So less value of coefficient of variation is of very much important. So you note out this because every year in every question paper one question always comes from this topic of 4 to 5 marks or sometimes it may also be of uh, 7 marks. Now let us see examples of this kind. Let us see one example, simple example of ungrouped data. Find standard deviation of the marks. Find standard deviation SD of the marks obtained, obtained by the students. Students. And these marks are 65, 58, 67, any numbers you can use. Here it is the game of numbers only. The formula will remain same. Numbers may change in example. 34, 48, 48, 45, 70, 62, 60 and uh, 50. Now, in the solution process, we can use the among the three formulas, any formula we can use. Uh, if we want to use the first formula that we have seen of xi minus x bar, then we need to find out x bar first. Okay? X bar. The, if we find out x bar first, then we can use second formula also because it is also x bar is involved. Okay? But if x bar comes in uh, uh, non integer form, then it takes time. That means we need to use Kelsey each and every time. So to avoid the maximum use of Kelsey and to do the process maximum manually, then it is better to use the formula of deviation. So that means we will use we have first of all we will write down the formula sigma square equal to 1 upon n sigma di square minus bracket 1 upon n sigma di whole square. Okay, square root we have not written because we have written over here as sigma sigma square. So we have the values of xi are given. So to find out di, di equal to xi minus a. So first of all we will assume a. So here you can assume any value from the data as a. So here I am choosing 50. 50 as I am choosing so as, uh, it will be the middle term just like uh, we can get uh, smaller numbers. Okay. If I will take highest number then uh, instead of getting smaller numbers I will get some larger numbers. That means yeah, yeah, that is, if you consider the middle one value, then you will get some negative values and some positive values and then uh, also smaller values. So, you will get 
and uh, you will calculate every each and everything manually very fast. So therefore, what will we will get x i minus a are what 65 minus 50 that means 15, 58 minus 50 that means 8. Actually, you can also write down this in a table, but here no need to use the table because it will take a long page uh, space. It will occupy a uh, long space of your paper. So 67 minus 50, that means 70. 34 minus 50 means minus 60. 48 minus 50 means minus 2. 45 minus 50 means minus 5. 70 minus 50 means 20. 62 minus 50 means 12. 60 minus 50 means 10. 50 minus 50 means 0. Then we can find out xi and xi minus a is what? This is nothing but di. Okay? So what is required in our case? We need to find out sigma of di. That means we need to find out the total of this one. And then we need to find out di square. So di square you can find out very simply. It is 225, 64, 70 square is what? 70 square is what? Uh, 7 square is 49, 4, 8, and 1 plus 1, 2, 289. 60 square, 60 square is what? 36, 6, 3, 6, 1, 0, 6, 2, 0, 12, 12 plus 3, 15, 15, 1, 1 square, 1, 2, 56, 4, 25, 400, this is 144, this is 100, and this is 0. So one, uh, this total we can find out very simply. So its total is 59, and its total is 1507. So now we put the values in the formula. Therefore, the for, in, as per formula, 1 upon n. What is n here? n is equal to the data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So n equal to 10. So here we will divide this by 10. Sigma di square. Sigma di square means 1507 minus 1 upon 10 here in the bracket. Sigma di, that means total. It is 59 whole square. And then we can find out this by using Kelsey very simply. Okay? And whatever the answer we will get, then we will take its square root. Its square root has the answer 10.77. So you must be ready. In this lecture or in all the lectures with Kelsey, because uh, uh, you will have to use the Kelsey repeatedly whenever required. So, whenever it is difficult for us to find out the values, to calculate the values manually, then we can find out the values by using Kelsey also. Here we are using this formula only so as we we can use the we can avoid the maximum use of Kelsey and we can find the calculations uh, manually in the maximum way. Okay. Now let us see. So have you understood this problem? This is very simple. So now let us see another example. Another example. Find standard deviation for the following distribution. Find standard deviation for the following distribution. And you also be ready with your pen and not pen, uh, pen and notebook. So with me, you can also write in your notebook, and you can try to understand the problem. And after this lecture, you can solve all these problems yourself. Okay? So, also find CV. CV means COV. Sometimes it may also be written as CV. That means coefficient of variation. So, the data are given in this way XI and FI. So, XI have the values 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And uh, the values of f are 7, 4, 6, 3, 5. So now you can see that this data is based on simple frequency distribution. So here we can use any formula which is related to this data. Okay? 
So here, I will make the use of uh, sigma. Uh, first of all, uh, just uh, uh, actually I am also using the formula of di. But before uh, uh, before of that, just I will also make the use of the formula first formula related to this. That uh, that means I will require to find out here uh, x bar. X bar is here. X bar equal to one upon capital N sigma f i. Okay, so sigma f i uh, sorry sigma f i into x i f i into x i. That means you will have to multiply this five into seven plus ten into four plus fifteen into six plus twenty into three plus twenty five into five. This you can do manually very easily. Okay. So if you will find this, you can do this yourself. I am writing just its value only, final value only. But you will have to write down this one. So x bar equal fourteen, and you can see that this is the integer value. So now we have no problem to find out uh, to use the first formula or second formula. So here, therefore, we will make the use of sigma square equal to one upon capital N sigma f i into x i minus x bar. Whole square, okay. It will also become simpler uh, in this uh, for this uh, example because x bar equal to fourteen and this is an integer value. So now we have got table x i f i x i is i u ten fifteen twenty twenty five. So wherever required, you must use the table so as your procedure becomes simple. Then we can find out x i minus x bar. X i minus x bar. X bar is fourteen. So five minus fourteen is minus nine. Ten minus fourteen is minus four. Fifteen minus fourteen is one. Twenty minus fourteen is six. Twenty minus fourteen. Twenty five minus fourteen is eleven. Okay. Then x i minus x bar whole square. This is required. So nine nine is a eighty one. Sixteen. Uh, one one is a one. This is thirty six. This is one twenty one. Then we require to uh, actually its total is not required, so we require to find out f i into x i minus x bar whole square. So f i into x i minus x bar whole square means seven into eighty one. Seven into eighty one means five sixty seven. Okay, sixteen into four that means sixty four. One into six means six. Thirty six into three means one zero eight. One twenty one into Five. That means it is six zero five. So after then we will require the total of this one only as in the formula. You can see. So and its total is one three five zero. And therefore we can put its value in this formula. So as we can get one upon capital N. Capital N is total of F I. Total of F I is what seven plus four eleven. Eleven plus six seventeen. Seventeen plus three. Twenty, twenty plus five, twenty-five. So capital N equal to twenty-five, and this sigma is one three five zero. Okay, so you can find out its value, then find out square root. So as we can find out actual value of standard deviation, and this is seven point three four eight. Okay, so this is the value of sigma. But here, if you wanted to use the formula, the formula of uh, instead of this formula, if you wanted to use one upon n sigma f i x i square minus one upon n sigma x i f i x i whole square, then also you could have used this formula. Otherwise, you can you could also have used this formula sigma f i d i square. Minus one upon n sigma f i d i whole square. Okay, there you will have to obtain x i minus uh, d i equal to x i minus capital A. Capital A you can assume any value. Suppose here this is the central value, so I could have you uh, assume a capital A equal to fifteen. Then it was it was uh, it would have been very simple for us to find out x i minus a instead of x i minus x bar. And you can you could have done this problem in a simpler way, uh, like as uh, like this one. It, it, it is also very simple. It also became very simple because x bar equal to fourteen. 
and hence the, hence the calculations have been become very simple. Now it is the question of to find out coefficient of variation and coefficient of variation this formula we have already noted here sigma upon x bar into 100. So sigma is what 7.348 and x bar is what 14 into 100. So you can find out this value and uh, its value you can get 52.48 and hence it is the answer. So you can uh, now get full marks after this problem and uh, you can see nothing is difficult simply you require to remember the formula and uh, before uh, in the starting of the example you can note down the formula so as the procedure becomes very simple for you as you can understand or you can identify what is to find, what is required to find to obtain in the solution process okay now let us see another example uh, find standard deviation for the distribution find standard deviation for the distribution for the distribution giving 300 cars giving 300 cars according to their selling days according to their selling days that means this data will give us the number of days in which uh, the how many cars have been sold out so number of cars so here it is 0 to 30 days 30 to 60 days 60 to 60, 90 days 90 to 120 days 120 to 150 days 152 180 days and 182 210 days so this is the data comprising of 210 days and you can see the number of cars have been sold within this days is 9 17 43 82 81 44 and uh, 24 so here we want to find out standard deviation and you can see this is the data of group frequency distribution okay and the length of each interval is 30 so it is better to use the formula we have first of all we need to note down the formula we have standard deviation square of standard deviation is uh, x into bracket 1 upon capital N sigma fi di dash square here di dash we will write down minus